No, no, uh, I can't say that I have ever had a pet kangaroo, but Jeff Musial's here. He's from Nickel oh, yeah. City's uh, Reptiles and Exotics, and you brought with us a little baby kangaroo. Yeah, she's a little baby red kangaroo, and uh, one of the largest of the marsupials, the red kangaroos are, and uh, the females actually stay gray with a little bit of red. Oh. So then you get the whole question, it's, you know, if it's a red kangaroo, why is she gray? But the females are always kind of a gray-blue with a little bit of red around their ears. And the males are the ones that get the real nice red color. Now, so. how did you come to have this sweet little kangaroo? Uh, she was born at our place. We have uh, a mob of them. And uh, that's what we call a family group, a mob. A mob? Yep. And uh, they'll give birth. Um, and they'll stay with mom for about six months, seven months. And then mom will boot them out of the pouch because she's got another one coming in. Oh, so she, you've been booted. Yeah. You've been booted, Miss Kanga. Um, <laughs> now, how old is she? She is seven months, uh, but technically what you'd say is like one month out of pouch because then she'd be you know, kicked out of mom's pouch. She's big on grooming herself there. She's got to look good for TV. So oh, she'll, you look lovely. You know, Much better than herself. I do, trust me. She's very cute. Now, you've got her in a little pouch. Oh, my God, I can't get over how cute you are. Yeah, we carry her in a, fle or in a fleece pouch. She just feels more comfortable, and she'll lay around in there. And then we keep her in a playpen right now in my office. So she'll hop in and out of the pouch in a playpen. And it's something when you go to Walmart and you're buying a playpen, and the lady's asking, you know, oh, is it for your kids? I said, or how old are your kids? I said, it's actually for a kangaroo. And she's like, oh, that's a good one. That's <laughs> but actually, it is for a kangaroo. So we hang pouches over the side and she'll go hop out, eat some food, and hop back into the, the pouch on the other side. Oh my gosh. Now you have plenty of exotic animals at uh, oh, Nickel yeah. City. What other type of animals do you have? Um, we have Canadian lynx, um, cougars, wolves, snakes, alligators, lizards, giant tortoises, um, kinkajous, which is like the famous animal that Paris Hilton had and got oh. bit by. Yeah, it looks like a, called a honey bear. Yeah, it's... Poor Paris. Yeah, exactly. Now, I gotta ask, can I please hold Kanga? Oh, of course. She's just so cute yeah, and just, I absolutely love just her. Just cup her like that and oh, you're good to go. Oh my gosh, yeah, not many people get to say they held a kangaroo right. today. And if no. she wasn't here in the pouch, we'd be, she'd be hopping around. She'll watch TV with me and that, hang out in the office. She wears Pampers size 4. Oh. So we cut okay. a hole for the tail and she'll hop around with that and, uh, she comes on the TV set that we give her her pouch to relax in. Oh, that's nice. Well, you can relax with me for the rest of this show. Uh, Jeff Musial is going to be back with another animal from Nickel City Reptiles and Exotics. Joe's going to be with that animal. Um, and we're going to head back to Joe on the couch right now while I play with Miss Kanga a little while longer. Uh, towels, and we're with Bella, the spider monkey this that's morning. Right. Quick question, can Bella um, play football? Because the Bills might be only... No, no. Oh, okay. she, she can run pretty good, though. Yeah? I don't know oh, if it's... Yeah. Kind of need a running back. There you go. All right. Um, spider monkey. I, I, I remember seeing Bella at the, the fair this summer. Right, right. Okay. right. So, obviously, she's been around. What's, uh, tell us her story here. She, uh, she was born at my friend's zoo in Missouri, where we... Uh, that's where she came from, mm -hmm. and we raised her up. She'll be a year on December 23rd. Wow. So she, uh, we raised her up and, and used her for educational things. She's very shy. She's got a crush on you, I think. She, uh, <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah, normally she's trying to slap <laughs> other males or try to jump at them. Um, but she's, she's got the, the hots for you, I, I think, like here. Yeah, That's she's true. doing her little thing there. She's, she's bashful and shy here. But they're found in South America. They're uh, endangered species um, because uh, the rainforest being cut down at sure. uh, such an alarming rate. And then also the uh, illegal pet trade. Not so much in the United States with no. them, but even more in Europe. They do, oh, really? you know, because in Europe they'll get a slap on the wrist. Don't, you know, smuggle monkeys here anymore, and they'll do it again because they can fetch five, ten thousand dollars a piece for these things. Oh wow! Now, to uh, send, sell them over there. Wow. Now you obviously you work with all kinds of animals. What's what are some of the uh, intricacies of working with an animal like this? Um, it's like a child that never grows up. <laughs> uh, she'll she's about as smart as a three or four year old child, and she'll stay that way till she's in oh, her fifties. There you go. Um, and diapers too. She's got the diapers on with the electrical tape to keep the diaper on. Um, Pampers, preemies. Actually, you cut a hole for the tail. Is, yeah, how old is uh, like if I did if I do own a spider monkey? Right, what Pampers size Premies, uh, the newborn the size. Newborn. Yeah, and you can get them at Walmart. Um, <laughs> like ten bucks for like thirty-two of them. You cut a hole, put the tail through. What's you know? going on here? And she's this, always some, she's always doing. That? She's just always yeah. she's always got to be doing something. She cleaning herself? Or she no, yeah, she's just kind of groom. You know, like you ask kids to act like a monkey, they're like ooh ooh ah ah. They're always itching themselves. Uh -huh. She doesn't say ooh ooh ah ah so much as no. you know she's got to itch herself. She's she's got a uh, little bit of ADHD, so yeah. she's always got to be doing something. I noticed before um, we started here, she mm -hmm. was kind of dancing around. Mm -hmm. You were twirling. Swinging around. Yeah, she's, she's always got to be she's doing. Sitting like a little coconut in your hand. Yeah, she's got a crush on you. So she doesn't want to do anything that might embarrass yeah, her. You know, sure, she just wants to hang sure. out and, and look right. cute. Um, now, uh, she, you basically said she's, she's like a, a, pr a lifetime kid. Yeah, just pretty a, much. A diapers child. until she's 50-something. You're changing them. Baby wipes, put the diaper on, and then she uh, <laughs> oh. runs around, does her thing. 
A little yawn for you. Oh, there is that you a yawn? Yeah, just a little is that yawn. What that was? Yeah, she tried doing it extra cute for you too there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, she'll get about 50 pounds, and um, they're, they, it's called bipedal, so they'll actually walk on two feet. Okay. And uh, when they walk, their arms kind of hang all over. When they're hanging by their tail, like this, mm -hmm. she's got that monkey tail. Looks kind of like a spider lowering themselves down on their web. Wow, look at that. So that's she's where still... they got the name spider monkey from. Oh, look yep. at that. That's amazing. Oh. All right. Oh. I don't know. No. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Hello? All right. All right. Uh, Jeff Mitchell, zoologist with the Nickel City Reptiles, and Bella, of course, the star of the show today. Right. Thanks so much for being here. No appreciate problem. it. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. All right. Now we're going to send things over to uh, uh, Melissa in the newsroom. And I don't think things are as interesting as they are out there.